Hi, this is Professor CC19, and today we're playing level 149 on our quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga, where we have 30 moves to collect, one wrapped wrapped combo, 99 blue candies, and 15 striped candies. Now this is a hard level, and mainly because we have one of each type of order to fulfill. Combo, color, and special. So what I want to do is prioritize. I want to see uh, what order I can put these in to fulfill them in order for this to work. Because I don't have a lot of time. Uh, I only have 30 moves. And I find the best order to put these in is worry about the 99 blue first. Because to collect 99 blue, we need to cause a lot of chaos. And that means that we'll get a lot of more candy from the top. So we need that blue to come from the top in order for us to collect it. And I find that in creating all that chaos, we will usually get a lot of divinely created specials. And when I get a divinely created wrapped candy, then I can focus my energy on positioning another wrapped candy next to it to fulfill this order. The striped candies, I think, come fairly naturally. So here, I have chocolate on the board, two layer thick frosting. The chocolate's fairly dangerous because if it eats over this area, and I have no way to remove it. That means I will not get any candy flowing onto this board, which means the level will end because of no more possible switches. So here I'm going to take it out so it doesn't grow anymore and it won't cut this off. It will also create some uh, good cascading. I'm going to bring this blue down. Now here I can make a wrapped candy for my potential of fulfilling that order. I can make a color bomb. I'm going to go color bomb here because, like I said, the wrapped candies sometimes just um, form divinely, and that, and I can encourage that by creating a lot of chaos on this board. So a good way to create chaos and fulfill two orders at the same time is to make a color bomb striped candy combo. That not only clears out and collects blue and all the colors on the board, but also fulfills a lot of striped candies. So here, that's what I'm going for. I'm going to do this color bomb striped candy combo. It's going to uh, help me with this order and this order. It's going to clear out most of my chocolate, and in this case, all of it, and it kind of gives me a fresh start and a very open board to fulfill the rest. So that was enough that we completely fulfilled our striped candy order, and we're down to 62 blue. Now's the point where we have a, a pretty good jump on the other two orders. In fact, this one is completely gone. Now I want to focus a little bit more of my energy on making those wrapped candies that I can use. So let's see here. I, I'm looking for concentrations of colors. I see with the red, but that's more promising as a striped candy or a color bomb. Here I see two and two kind of in a caddy corner. If I bring this green down, that's a wrapped candy. Now that I have a wrapped candy, I'm going to look. Can I ha Do I have a potential for another nearby? So in the columns surrounding it, or directly above it, and I do. So now here, as long as these two don't go off prematurely, and I can remove these two candies in between, I should be able to make a successful combination. Hmm. Color bomb is very tempting. I'm going to make the color bomb, but I'm not going to use it. The reason I'm not going to use it is because if I do, it may concentrate the color so much that it might send everything off. Here, I'm make, being very careful, and now I can set this up. Now, before I do, I want to tell you, this is my third playthrough for recording purposes, and I learned a valuable lesson in the first playthrough. And the lesson is, if you spend so much of your time making very small moves in order to set up the wrap wrap combo, you're not going to get enough chaos to collect enough blue. That's why I like to go for the chaos early and then work on this order, which now I'll fulfill. It'll send off the color bomb, concentrating the colors down, and we again get the element of chaos. So now it's very likely that we'll beat this level. We need 33 more blue. We have 13 moves. That's a fair amount of time. With the board this open now, it's very easy to create chaos. And here, actually, if I were to need two of those orders, I would have been able to get it. I'm almost done with the blue also. I need seven more. That's going off. All right, three more blue, and we're done. And now we're done. So that's how I meet level 149 on my third playthrough. 
not an easy level basically because we don't have a lot of time for, to fulfill all our orders. But if you go based on the strategy that if you create chaos early to get a jump on the blue and then be very particular in the potential and the lining up of those map candies, you should be good on this level. If you're struggling with that, I would recommend bringing in probably a Lucky Candy. Now, a Lucky Candy could be a wrap, a stripe, or a blue because they will correspond to your order and you have multiple orders here. You're going to have to hope that those Lucky Candies are more wrapped candies that you need. Because if they're just a normal blue candy, then it's really not uh, the same. It doesn't give you as good as of a boost. So if you found this video helpful to you, please subscribe. If you're stuck on any particular level in Candy Crush, please leave a comment below. I will try and help you with that level. And as always, thanks so much for watching.